We had some great PC games in the 90s and uh, one I spent way too much time on was Command & Conquer Red Alert. I've got this old PC to be able to play them but unfortunately the screen has gone a bit dodgy on it and uh, it is obviously quite hard to keep really old equipment running. Well luckily now we have Dospian. Uh, Dospian 2.5 is out. This is a Raspberry Pi 5 but it also works on a Raspberry Pi 4 and a Raspberry Pi 3. So I plugged in an old Dell keyboard because it's got some crucial keys for PC gaming on it. Uh, this is my Raspberry Pi 5 with a 240 gig NVMe drive on it. You definitely don't need that sort of space for DOS. But let's have a look at it and see a few things. I'll go through a proper tutorial at the end of the video, but let's just have a look at some games first of all. So this is DOSBox SVN, which is what DOSBian boots to as standard. So if you've done nothing to it. Now if we type in exit, we have other versions we can use. So now we're in Linux and you can see DOSBian 2.5 your retro PC DOS distro, developed by Carmelo Maialino. Probably got that pronunciation wrong, but great work by Carmelo. So this version of DOSBian has been built from scratch for the new Raspberry Pi OS bookworm. We've got three versions of DOSBox. DOSBox SVM, which is the one it boots by default. DOSBox ECE, and it says here, uh, very good for DOS games, but aged. And we've got DOSBox staging, which I found to be the best for most games, but not all of them. A modern DOSBox best experience ever for DOS games. Now this version does come with everything you should need, but there is also a, a version with a graphical user interface, which gives you various different things here. So choose and change the DOSBox version to run a boot, customize and use multiple DOSBox configurations, run LaunchBox to build your personal game library, use the DOSBian configurator utility to create and mount empty floppy disks or hard disk automatically, reboot or shut down your Raspberry Pi, run Midnight Commander to copy and move your files, auto mount your USB key to copy files to and from your Raspberry Pi, supported file systems FAT, XFAT and NTFS, and set the volume of the HDMI or headphone audio output. So there's more details on this website, so go to that if you want to see more, but I'm going to concentrate on the, the more stripped down version. So if I type in DOSBox staging and hit return, now I've already put some games in this in the games folder. Uh, so if I navigate to that, so CD games. And then if you want to have a look at what folders are in there, if you press tab, that will show you the various different folders. So these are all the games that are in there. So I want to play Redneck Rampage, which is this one. So I need to go into that folder, CD Red Ram. And I'm pressing the tab key to toggle through all those. So let's press the tab key again. So I want to go into this folder and hopefully there'll be a launch file in here. Yeah, that's probably the one, rampage.bat. So it's launching up. Turn up my speaker. Now this game didn't require a CD. Uh, the download that I had just had all the information in there, but most of the problems you'll have will be mounting CDs, but I'll go through that. And this is quite a cool game. So what you'll find in this town, or what you'll find is everybody shoots at you around here. Oh. And you've really got to watch out for that car. I've been run over loads of times. I'm not going to shoot the pig. And we can strafe left and right that. Oh, we get a better weapon now, look, because he's got a shotgun. There we go. And watch out for the uh, mosquitoes or whatever they are. Pick up some cans. Oh, it's still after me. Oh, shotgun was probably overkill for that. But yeah, running, running brilliantly, look. It's super fast. Uh, it's very, very responsive. So I'm going to quit out of this. So I've booted up Raspberry Pi OS uh, and I'm running it from an SD card but I'm also going to put an SD card in this USB drive and then pop it into the USB slot. That's what I'm going to write DOSBian into. So let's plug that drive in. And that's been recognised. I can just hit cancel on this because I don't need to do anything to it yet. Uh, let's go to the web browser and type in DOSBian. But you can see here, DOSBian 2.0 comes up. But if you log in, it gives you DOSBian 2.5. So if we scroll down through, 
Obviously you have a read of this, a lot of work has gone into it. So here's the download, where is it here? Uh, and obviously you can donate if you use this project. And if we scroll down and then download here. Now I've already downloaded this, 2.5.7, I guess it's the same version. So let's have a look in my downloads folder. So you can see it here, but it's zipped. And you need to unzip it because 7-zip isn't recognized by Raspberry Pi Imager. So let's right click it and extract here. And that will create a Dospian image file. Okay, so that's all done now. So Dospian 2.5 image. I can delete the 7-zip file now. I don't need that anymore. And I can open up Raspberry Pi Imager. So press your Windows key and start typing Imager and return. Choose OS and scroll down to use custom. And then we're looking for that Dospian image. There you go, Dospian image and hit open. And choose storage. So this is the SD card I showed just now. Let's click on that and hit next. I'm not going to do any customization, so hit no and yes. Put your password in and come back when that's all done. Okay, so that's all done. So let's hit continue and I'm going to close all this down and shut down the Pi. And I'm going to remove the SD card that had Raspberry Pi OS on it. And I'm going to put the Dospian SD card in the Pi. So I'm going to boot from that. And let's start that up. And you should get a screen that looks like that. And after a few seconds, you should be on this screen. Type in exit. And then we need to type in configuration. Go down to advanced options. Expand file system. And that's done. So hit OK. And finish. And reboot. OK, so that reboots to this point. And uh, at the moment, I don't think we've got any games on there. If we do DIR, that will show you what's on here. So you can see there's a games folder. This is all here by default. So if we do CD and games, and then DIR. So we have got some games in here. Wolfenstein 3D, Doom, and I guess Boulder Dash. So if we, well, let's try the B dash. So if we go CD, B dash, and then if we press the tab, we should get, oh, there you go, that's the exe file. But if you keep pressing tab, it will scroll through whatever's in there. And that happens to be the only thing that's in here. So let's press enter. And that launches it. And that's all working. So if we want to quit out of that, just press escape and uh, escape again. And yes, to quit to DOS. So now we want to go back to the games folder. Press cd space dot dot. And that will go back one. And again, press tab and you can see what games are in there. So if we want Doom, let's go CD Doom to go into that folder. And let's see, yeah, Doom EXE if I press tab. So let's hit enter and F1 for single player launch. And I can move around and what is it, control for fire. So no problem with that. So let's quit out of that. And yes to quit. So what if we want some more games on here? Let's type exit. That takes us back to this screen. And if we press up on the arrow keys, you can see we get DOSBox and sudo shutdown now and various other things that are there. But we want sudo shutdown now. And I'm going to take out my DOSBian SD card and boot up from Raspberry Pi OS. on the SD card and pop this into the card reader again because I want to access some files on here or add some files to it. So let's boot that up. So I've got a folder here on the desktop with some DOS games I've got and uh, they've all been unzipped and this is what they look like after they've been unzipped. So GTA has a CD which you can see here with a bin and a Q file. Now those files and we've got GTA and GTA London here need to be copied and we're going to go into root fs so this is basically the dospian main drive and we can go home dospian and this here you see says my underscore cd rom i don't like having to type in underscores all the time so i'm just going to call this cds and let's open that up and paste that in 
So you can see 1.4 gig for two CDs. So these are bin and queue files. Let's also get one with an ISO file. So if I go back to that DOS folder and we'll go with Command and Conquer and the CD one here actually is four CDs. So Red Alert, Aftermath and Counter-Strike. So if we copy those and they're ISO files, they're treated pretty much the same. So let's hit copy. And again, we're going back to root, home, dospian, and then CDs, and then just paste that in. So these are all CD files. So the game needs the CD in to run, unless it's a hacked copy. Let's go back to DOS games and let's grab those two games. So we need GTA and we need Command and Conquer Red Alert. So let's copy those. And again, back to that root partition, but we're going to go back one and we're going to put them in the games folder. So you can see these are the games that we saw earlier on. So let's paste that in. Okay, that's just finishing up. So we can close these folders now and shut down and boot up with Dospian. Okay, so now what I want to do is load the CD that's in there. Uh, but I'm just going to check where it is. So if I do DIR, so the folder is called CDs. So if we do CD and CDs and then do DIR. You can see that I've got various different CDs in here and I'm going to use the Command and Conquer Red Alert Disk 1. So let's go Z colon and image mount space D. So basically I'm going to make the DVD drive or CD drive D and I've got to tell it the location of where the disk is. So C colon backslash CDS backslash and then I need the name of the disk. So red ale and one and it's dot ISO and you need to put dot bin if it's a, a bin file dash T space ISO and if we hit enter drive D is mounted so we can get a D and we can do DIR and we can see the CD but I'm going to go back to C because I've got the game in the games folder uh, so CD space dot dot to go back a folder CD games and then if we press the tab button that will toggle through the games so we're looking for command and conquer red alert which is that's what it is so let's get into that folder CD command and conquer I'm not sure if I've got to go another folder again so I'm going to press DIR just to have a look actually I think I can just type RA for red alert please stand by Stop playing with that thing. So I'm going to skip past the video and this one. Although they were a great yeah, part of it. Right. Here we go. So we yes, can sir. click on our guy and we can move him around. Agreed. And we can move around the map to see what's there. We've got planes yes, straight sir. away. What can we bomb? This guy. Acknowledge. Let's get two of these. Awaiting orders. This guy, he's going to get a shock when he gets some planes on him. But you can see it works absolutely fine. It's a great game. I haven't played it for years and years. I do remember the commando being amazing though. Oh, there you go. Taking these out there. Such a good game. Okay, let's exit out of that. Battle control terminated and exit the game. You can see everything works just as it should. But now we want to mount a different CD. So I'm going to type exit and I'm going to go back in. So now I'm going to do the same process but with the GTA CD. And this is a GTA.bin file so I still put ISO at the end. It seems to work for me. There you go. So that's mounted. And this is the original GTA. There was a demo on a cover disc that I played this for so much. But let's go for, I didn't find the 3DX work for me, so let's go with high color. So 
So let's log straight in. So you can see working nicely, looking great in all its 2D glory. So let's try some more games. Uh, so DOSBox staging is better for Carmageddon. Uh, if you don't use DOSBox staging, then the graphics are all messed up. And I think this runs without the CD. Let's give it a go. So I haven't mounted the CD. So if I press the tab button, yeah, there's Carmageddon, CD Carmageddon, and then it's CD Karma, and that's launch it with karma.exe so let's go for detail and uh, you can see it's all on max let's go for a new game ah it is asking for the cd <laughs> okay so i do have to mount the cd and come back so let's locate that CD, CDs. So it's called Max Pack. So image mount D C colon backslash CDs backslash Max Pack dot bin dash t iso okay so now i can back into cd and games and carmageddon so let's go into that one and then karma and then launch that so let's do new game And the, I did a little shorts video on the demo version of this. The handling was terrible on the demo version, but on this, it's actually really good. Although still a bit tricky. Let's go for a different one, Coastal Carnage. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Let's go. Oh, not flipping over straight off. At least they're zombie cows. I feel better now. Well, considering I flipped over. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I said the handling was better on this. It definitely is a bit more sticky, but when it loses it, it proper loses it. More zombies. Jumps coming up. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, just. Oh, I thought I'd slide around the corner, but uh, yeah, that wasn't happening. Oh, and I need to keep my speed up because there's a loop here. Although you can, well, I almost never make it. I don't want to go too fast because I don't want to slide out. But I do want enough speed. Come on, straighten up. Have I made it? <laughs> no. But if you don't make it, if I press insert, it puts me back. You can go across uh, like this. There you go. And that might be perfect. I'll take that. Cunning stunt bonus. Nice bit of sliding. Let's try a bit of Tomb Raider. And as you can see, running nicely. And I was running that with, because uh, I already had a CD in the D drive, which was Carmageddon. And I was running that from the E drive. So you can mount probably as many CDs as you like. And here's a bit of Quake. 
Where's that sound coming from? Shotgun. Nice. That could have gone better. But it runs great. Oh, I thought someone was come down to get me then. Gosh, I got so lost on one level of this game for ages. I just couldn't get past this one bit. I was sure I was missing something. Oh, we got now. Nice. So I'll put some of the notes in the description, but I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.